Hey guys, uh, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a tutorial of how to run Windows applications on a Mac without installing Windows. So first of all, you'll need to download WineBotchler, which is here. Uh, you should download, oops, you should download the uh, 1.7.37 Development Edition because that supports Yosemite. Uh, you can actually grab the 1.6.1 stable version if you are still running on your, uh, I mean Mavericks. So, I have already downloaded that and it's here. So, once you're in there, you just want to, you, this will appear as wine. Uh, and then this will appear as wine bottle on your Mac. Uh, highlight both of them and drag it to the application folder. And uh, you're done. I have already dragged it, so um, I stopped it already. And uh, the second thing you want to do is find your uh, Windows application that you want to run, and then choose Run Directly in whatever, or convert you to a simple OS X application, which is not one, uh, not what we want to do. We want to run it directly in there. So click Go. Actually, there's something really, really neat in here. So click on one bottle icon. There's the file manager. So uh, this is actually very useful. You know, we can run Windows games on here. So we go to users and then your username. And then app data is actually not the one. So go to application data, which you'll find uh, soon if you uh, install your games on there. You'll I mean, if you run your games on here, you'll find your game, like GTA IV, which is full, uh, or GTA SA, which is GTA uh, underscore SA, which is GTA San Andreas. So I'm just going to click play. This is very, very useful, guys. Uh, this is actually on my NAS uh, that I built two day I mean a week ago that uh, I finally finished configuring it three days ago that uh, there's a video coming next week I think of my NAS upgrade but it is now upgraded to 15 terabytes actually 13.6 because they're NTFS formatted so as you can see you can play a game on here Minecraft works welcome page a uh, uh, lot of the words have disappeared because as, uh, as I have said this is only the development edition but uh, actually the performance is good if you have a decent computer first of all I mean if you have a MacBook Pro iMac or even Mac Pro that will work very very good on this I, I don't know why thing but uh, you have to maybe turn your graphics low a little bit. Then you're, then what you will be happy with, I guess. But uh, you know, the this one is a MacBook Air, and uh, you shouldn't expect too much from it, because you know, that's you can't store much on this. The MacBook Air is expected to be doing work. I mean, documented work. Uh, portably, portably, I guess. So as you can see, it runs Minecraft no problem. Just save a quick title. Just gonna uh, close that, and once you're done, you want to click on the wine bottle icon, and then quit wine. So it will terminate all running Windows programs. You will lose any unsaved data. Quit, and then it will do the job for you. And just eject this one. That's just the installer, so no big deal. So guys, this is it. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Tutorial, excuse me. Um, uh, like the video if you think that uh, this was helpful, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. So share it to anyone you think needs this application. You know, uh, who wants to run games on. The uh, Windows games on their PC, which is not really available on their Mac, like Battlefield 4. Although you can install Boot Camp and then install Steam on it, but 
Uh, this is sort of the more convenient way, which you can switch between Windows and Mac constantly if you need something. So that's also a very, very cool thing to keep in mind. So yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share the video, and like the video. And um, yeah, uh, stay subscribed because our server upgrade video is coming next week. So yeah, bye.